When a group, especially a narrow group of households, can grow their wealth at a rate greater than the population as a whole, their share of the nation's wealth will get larger and larger and larger over time. So they have a problem, which is their wealth is growing faster than it's possible to give it away. Excessive wealth holds our government hostage, deforming our democracy. Seven out of 10 Americans say our democracy is under dire threat. 86% say the reason is money in politics. Every penny that comes in gets driven as far upward to uh, shareholders and management as it possibly can and with the minimum possible heading to workers and, and people. It's not really a floor. You're standing on quicksand. All of this has been part of the 100 years of lobbying and magical misdi misdirection. Every single avenue out and up has been cut off for people. And that's not good for, for America and it's not good for business. These are just unfair realities but they are choices. This is not an inevitability. It is our economy. We get to choose. We get to define our economy. We all have to start talking about things like raising the minimum wage, other things that will not just make it fairer, it will also make our economy stronger, more resilient, faster growing. Yeah, this is absolutely a radical plan, but this is in, at times quite a radical country. And that's why we can win on this agenda, and we saw wins on this agenda. Do you mind telling us about that connection and about your vision for uh, the Great Economy Project? My vision for this is that we build a movement where working class people take their power back. I really enjoyed my time in Whiteville, and I, I see tremendous potential there. But I was surprised how many people had never sat next to the, the person and had a discussion about money, or politics, and I really felt like this was an invitation to do that. And there was a level of empathy, I think, for, for everybody involved. This is the area we want to lift up and rebuild that working class, and this is where we start.